my voice. It is real. It's my real voice. People often ask me, is that your real voice? And I'm like, no, I got a voice lift. <laughs> it's a very expensive procedure, but worth it to annoy people for the rest of my life. So <laughs> thank you for noticing. I had an acting teacher once say, if you don't fix your voice, you'll never have a career. And so far, he's right. <laughs> but I am getting older. I'm in my late 30s, early 40s, mid 20s. And uh, I just found out I'm officially lady years old. I was called a lady. I was not happy about it. I was getting a smoothie, and the kid behind the counter, well, I call him a kid, but I think he was 29. <laughs> he goes, this is for the lady in that sweater vest over there. This is for that nice lady. And I was like, excuse me, young man, it's a sweater tank top. OK, get your garments straight. And second of all, no woman under 79 years old ever wants to be called a lady, right? We don't appreciate it. It's quite offensive. Honestly, I'd rather be called pretty much anything else. Like, I wish he said, this is for that bitch in the sweater vest over there. Then I'd be like, thank you, young man. Thank you for showing me the respect I've earned over the years. It's about time. I'm at an age where I don't want to go on dates anymore. Um, I tried going on one the other night, and my friend said, just have fun and be yourself. I was like, for me, it's one or the other. OK? I can't do both at the same time. But she has trouble dating, too, and she's always complaining about getting friend zoned by guys. And I told her it's because women tend to friend zone in a different way, right? Because we friend zone by asking for favors. We'll be like, will you help me move? Will you put together my IKEA furniture? Will you pick me up at the airport? And men friend zone by sleeping with you. So we're always confused, right? Because a guy is like, I picked her up at the airport. Why won't she sleep with me? And a woman is like, I slept with him. Why won't he pick me up at the airport? So now I just tell my girlfriends, just don't ever sleep with anyone. And at least you'll always have a ride to the airport. Thanks so much. That's it for me. I, I love this. I, as I said last week, I want comedy to make it all the way on this stage, and I think you just delivered a, a set that can take you all the way. You are so real, so comfortable, so funny, so memorable. I think people are going to be quoting you tomorrow. These lines are really funny, memorable. Your voice is adorable. You're adorable. I love you. Oh, thanks, Howie. I Howie. love you, too. I think you are a great storyteller, and I think you're very likable. I totally can see you in Las Vegas, too. And I have a very similar voice, yeah. and I have not been doing too bad with it. So there you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sophia. Funny, relatable, your material is amazing. I still think you should be on a sitcom. Yeah. That's oh, what you should do. I want to do it with you. <laughs> Simon. Um, didn't love it, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't. i tell you why. No. You can't force yourself to laugh if you're not laughing. And I didn't laugh. Okay. So, but I did laugh the first time. I think you need to be in something like Saturday Night Live amongst a lot of other people. Um, so maybe, <laughs> I don't know, but... Is I'm, it because it was so much lady material, maybe? <laughs> you laugh point. now? That's a good point. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. That was funny. Now, Erica, who gives you a ride to the airport? Oh, I have a rotating list. 